For someone who don't know about omnipartiality, can you explain omnipartiality? Yes, yeah, certainly. And again, this is just my approach to the topic, and another mediator will have a different one. That's where we are at currently in the profession. We all have our own definitions, we all have our own understandings, and they can vary a lot. But my understanding is, first of all, the three principles for mediation. Mediator has to be independent, he has to be impartial, and he has to be neutral. Okay? So what do those three words mean? Okay, independent means you don't depend on the parties for any one outcome, you don't depend on them. The notion of neutrality for me is also neutrality as to the outcome. Do they settle? Do they not settle? For me, that's where the neutrality comes in. You know, it's the idea that whether they settle, if they don't settle, it's in favor of one party, the other party. At the end of the day, you're neutral in terms of the outcome. It doesn't affect you. Partiality is a much more difficult concept. What does partial mean? It means you're leaning more to one side than to the other. And my understanding of the human brain is such that we are always trying, especially when trying to work as mediators, we're trying to connect with the other side. We're in fact trying to be partial every time. If we want to be in a situation where we can empathize with a person and feel their feelings, we can't talk about impartiality. We're very partial to them at that moment. The point is, though, we need to be equally partial to everybody. So that if we're going to be empathizing, we're going to have to empathize with both parties and equally. Now, is that possible or not? Technically, I'm not sure how we can measure this objectively. But the idea of omnipartiality is to say, don't pretend that you're not partial. Just be equally partial with everybody. And so the idea is that when you go into a caucus, if you're going to have a very emotional conversation with somebody, you really want to engage with them. Have you lost? Well, I don't think it's affected your neutrality in terms of the outcome. They might spill into one another. It doesn't affect your independence in terms of your ability to operate, but it might affect your partiality vis-a-vis -vis the other party. If you've had an intense caucus with one party only and they've bared their emotions to you and you've had a really cathartic moment with them understanding what makes them go but the other side never provides you with that opportunity then you might have a partiality there and so for me what's really important is to make sure there's equal partiality from that point of view and that is referred to as omni partiality equal but everywhere i hope that answers the question for you yeah